Landslides, like earthquakes, they are unpredictable. You cannot tell exactly when and where they will occur. What you can say is which areas are more prone to having a landslide or, in this case, an earthquake as well. Right? So we know what the ingredients are of, of landslides are. We know you need topography, you need a slope, right? so that you can have gravitational forces, as we can see from our drum experiment. We know that the type of soil matters, the shape and their chemistry. This is the, the classic mechanics behind landslides and mudslides, that you have to have a certain slope, right, which gives you that gravity force that drives the, uh, the landslide. And also that is in competition with the internal force of a material that is trying to resist that gravitational force, right? So as these grains come in contact with each other, they resist the gravitational load, but there comes a point when the gravitational force is too high and you know, it, a spontaneous landslide occurs. The more rain you're getting, as we're getting now in California, the more prone you are to having a landslide. And vegetation matters. Vegetation is a great uh, uh, stabilizer, but also a retainer of fine particles that eventually make it to the, to the mud flow and give it uh, more viscosity. So these are the main characteristics. So you can make a map of areas in the LA basin, for instance, of where you're more or less likely to have a landslide. And the USGS does that, and those are called hazard maps. And then if you put on top of those models, like the ones we built here, you can start to make some predictions, mostly probabilistic, and, and statistical predictions of where you're most likely to have a landslide given the current conditions that you have.